Hey everyone, this is Niels from Aqua Terra Life. In this video, I want to share my trip to the Japan Salamander Center with you, where I could experience Japanese giant salamanders from really up close. The Salamander Center is located in a beautiful valley near Nabari in the Mie Prefecture. It is not too far from Kyoto and Osaka. This valley is actually famous for ninjas and its several waterfalls, which also gave it its name Akamishiju Hachitaki, which means the 48 waterfalls of Akame. In fact, there are even much more than 48 waterfalls in the valley, but as 48 also means many in Japanese, the valley got this name. When you follow the path along the waterfalls through the beautiful scenery, you actually can't even miss the salamander center as the path goes directly through it. Sanchan and Taki, the center's mascots, show you the entrance to the small aquarium and right after entering you are already inside the exhibitions room with quite a lot of tanks. There you're welcomed by the first giant salamander, which lives in the most natural looking tank of the exhibition. It is an over 60 years old male called Sancho Maru. Every giant salamander in the exhibition has its own personalized plate, which contains its name and general information about its age, rate, length, and, funnily enough, about its character. So, we get to know that Sancho Maru, for example, is kind of being lost in thought, whatever that might mean for a giant salamander. The other salamanders in the center are homed in quite simple setups, with just some gravel, rocks, and normally one big height in form of a half stone tube or a big root. The tanks seem to be quite small, however, as the salamanders are quite inactive most of the time, they probably are totally sufficient. It is also notable that most of the giant salamanders in the exhibitions are actually hybrids of the Japanese and the Chinese giant salamander. Chinese giant salamanders were released in rivers around Kyoto in the past and there they hybridized with the local Japanese species. The hybrids actually are quite a big problem as they can outcompete the native Japanese salamanders. Next to the live animals on the ground floor, visitors can find general information and non-living exhibits on the second floor. Here you can find information about the giant salamander development, their anatomy and about current and historic research. Unfortunately, most of the information is in Japanese only, but even if you can't read it, the exhibits are still super interesting to observe. There's also a small diorama containing cute figures of many animals you can find in the valley. And finally, you can find a nice selection of souvenirs, of which I of course brought home a few. Besides the public exhibition, the Salamander Center also contains a small back room in which quite a few salamanders are kept. Most of them were found after floods and brought to the center. Here they are raised to be released again when they have grown bigger. In the back room I had the great opportunity to get in touch with the salamander's keeper and the salamanders themselves. I could observe all the different sizes of Japanese giant salamanders, from the tiny larva up to the big adults. It is amazing how small the larvae are compared to the adults. Younger individuals also seem to be much more active than older individuals. Don't be deterred by the comparably small tanks here, these are only short term and quarantine setups. After observing all the different sizes of salamanders, I was even allowed to handle some of these calm giants. And that was a great experience. It is really impressive how huge, heavy and also strong these salamanders can get. A bite of them most probably can be quite hurtful, so I didn't try it. After my stay at the center, I decided to explore the path along the waterfalls a little more. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to find wild giant salamanders there, but at least I found a few frogs and toads and other animals. And besides, I of course really enjoyed the beauty of the valley. If you enjoyed this brief glimpse into the Japan Salamander Center, please leave a like and a subscription. And if there are any questions about the center, Feel free to ask in the comments. I can really recommend a visit here. Thanks for watching and see you next time.